don't know how y'all doing. So let's get into this NFL week five, shall we? I'm, some weeks I'll do them, some I won't. We'll see how it goes. But this was a pretty big week because there was a lot of big games with a lot of interesting scenarios. First game last Thursday was Chicago and Washington. And uh, Mr. Fields tore Washington's behind up. Uh, he got down. I think the Bears are going to put Fields on uh, with the block, but it was a heck of an audition. As a matter of fact, he's everything that Washington and Magic Johnson would love as a quarterback. That's Justin Fields is everything they would need, either him or Kyler Murray. And he tore they behind up. Washington is a decent defensive team, but they don't have enough offense, and I think that's what's going to cost Ron Rivera, and Eric enemy is sitting right there. You need an up-tier quarterback, at least a second tier. Can't be dealing with these third-tier cats, especially when you're not that productive and not that good. Elsewhere, my Buffalo Bills went across the pond to London, and they got their behind toe of Jacksonville beat that butt. Trevor Lawrence came up close to Jacksonville line, was beating them up on both sides of the rock. Josh Allen got caught deer in headlights, throwing some haymakers. It really wasn't that much of a game. Jacksonville got physical, got them goods, and that was it. And the Bills got some question marks because they stopped the run and they neutralized him, and he got caught throwing passes and just was a frustrating day. Jacksonville is doing good across the pond, and uh, they won the game. Miami beat the Giants. No surprise. Who can't beat the Giants? And everybody knows the Giants. If they're not playing third and fourth tier teams, there's not much to them. They can hang a little bit with second tier teams, but anybody that's legit like Miami. Tua got back after what the Bills did to him. He had Tyreek Hill. They were running and dancing and waving at him. It's a long season for the Giants. Just saying. Daniel Jones overpaid. And I don't even shake on Barkley there or not. The Giants just stink. They're not good. Cincinnati beat Arizona. Uh, best game of the year for Burroughs. Jamar Chase got off. Uh, Cincinnati looked good. I don't know what it means. But it was a big win. Pittsburgh beat Baltimore in a game that only Baltimore could lose, and they did. Pinky Pinkett was kind of off, but he hit some big plays. Lamar Jackson threw a bad interception in zone. Should have hit a fade Odell Beckham, then just turned the ball. This they can't finish. Mike Tomlin, Jim Harbaugh got the same amount of rings. Tomlin's been to one more Super Bowl, and I'm gonna tell you something. Just my personal opinion: If Tomlin had uh, Lamar Jackson as a if Lamar Jackson had Tomlin as a coach, he'd have a couple more rings. Because I just don't think that Lamar Jackson is the best coach to understand him. And they don't finish up. That's Baltimore's problem. They lose three or four games like this every year. And that's why they win eight, nine games. They always just short of something. Should be better than what they are. Tomlin wheels that team. Philly beat the Rams undefeated. Just the quietest runner-up team. They're doing it the right way. They're beating you in different ways. And even though Cooper Cup came back for the Rams, they look good in some spots. Philly's just a man team. They just they just doing things. They low key, but they doing it. Detroit beat Carolina. Make the debate the third or fourth best team in the NFC right now. Detroit beat that butt. Carolina is long here for Bryce Young. I don't know when they're gonna get their first win. They have they they got growing pains. This is real. Jets beat Denver in that Paul Hackett bowl and Sean Payton talking all that trash. The Jets tore they behind up and Zach Wilson looked good in this game. But Denver sucks so bad, and it's not all on. It's part Russell Wilson, but they're different. They're just not. Sean Payton is not the answer, and they look like they just didn't quit on him. And speaking of quitting, New Orleans rolled all over New England. New England rolling over like a dog. Mac Jones is hot garbage. Mac and cheese can't get it done. And Bill Belichick ain't got nowhere to cheat, ain't nowhere to hide. Missing Tom Brady and missing a lot of action. They got an outright outscore 72-3 to the last two weeks. And even though New Orleans, Alvin Kamara and Derek Carr are decent, they ain't put up no – they haven't only averaged 16, 17 points in the Dennis Allen era as the head coach. So they're going to throw a 34 burger on them? New England sucks. And I think they can already quit on Belichick. I think the season is lost right now. Vegas beat Green Bay tonight. The Raiders will win those kind of games. Green Bay's still going through growing pain, so it's kind of what you expect. Raiders will be one of those 500 teams. Green Bay – they got to try to find wins when they can. They're not going to easy to come by. It's going to be tough with Jordan Love, just saying. Kansas City beat Minnesota. Typical Super Bowl team. Getting everybody's best. Win some other games. Do enough to win. That's what Patrick Mahomes does. Andy Reid passed Tom Landry for, I think, fourth place on the win this uh, coaches ever. That says a lot. He won a lot with Patrick Mahomes. He's going to keep on winning. Atlanta beat Houston in what I call the curious young teams on the come up. And, um, Hard to say where these teams really are, but 
also a good win for Atlanta. Houston is a is gonna be a tough team. They gonna be they're gonna be almost a five hundred team, I think, close to it. They 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 battle, they battle it. Indy beat Tennessee. Again, situation Indy's nothing, no one sees nothing. Nice little story. Tennessee is frustrating. Quarterback and it's what hurt him. Okay, you were waiting for the main game, and I didn't even that game was like an old Mike Tyson fight. That garbage was over before it had a chance to start. You got your food and you up there, and that game's over. I had to turn that mess off. Frisco ran Dallas is behind out. Dak Prescott is overrated. Mike McCarthy, meathead, overrated as a head coach. If you ain't get it done with Aaron Rodgers, you ain't going to get it done with that Prescott. CD Lamb is not getting the ride. Tony Pollard is too light in the cakes. They ain't missing some power. Frisco basically just took their lunch money, took their after, took their dinner money, took their breakfast money. It's the big, bad bully. Punch him in the mouth. They too physical for Dallas. And Brock Purdy might be the second coming to Joe Montana. The boy is poised. Look good. And it, and uh, Christian McCaffrey is my league MVP right now. And don't forget about Debo. They just got too many weapons. And they just, the defense, I mean, they just too much for Dallas. Dallas, it's like a man's against boys. It's like Vars against JV. And not even JV. I'm talking about junior high before you get to, J- to JV. Just not on the same tier at all. Knocked them out. It was over before it started. The same old Cowboys. And they just, if they can't bully and get some cheap, you know, play half field, ain't much to them. Got to play the 100 yards, they butts in trouble. And really, that says that they're not even a playoff team because it's going to be tough with what they got. I'm just saying. I just think me here ain't going to make it as the coach. And Dak is whack. Can't make it. Talking about he was humble against Arizona, but he's more humble than him. You're going to get plenty of humble pie. You got to play Philly a little time. You're not that good. You're not that good. And that's the reality. They are, they are underachieving with some talent. And Michael Parsons, don't let anyone ever tell you that you're close to my cousin Lawrence Taylor. You're not. Because you were a no-show. They're not there. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for nothing. Share if you like. I'm out. Peace.